Hello everybody, it's Everall 4 for the weekly update, and it's Passover, which means one thing, matzah brai. If you don't know what matzah brai is, B-R-E-I, it's a Yiddish probably word, um, you take matzah, I usually, and you take eggs, I usually have a conversion of one egg per piece of matzah, you run the matzah under cold water to soften it up. You break it up into little bits, mix it with the eggs, and then fry it like scrambled eggs. Put salt on it, some people put maple syrup on it. You know, you can either have it sweet or, or not. Some people mix in things like cheese or tomatoes or whatever. But I just like to keep it simple. And it is the best. And I love it. And I'm going to eat it because I didn't eat yet today. Mmm. It's good. So, um, yeah. So a few things today. First of all, like I said, it's the Jewish holiday Passover. It's also Earth Day today. I said last week that we would be mixing up the schedule a little this week, so yesterday there was a Final Fantasy X episode that would normally go up on the Monday slot, but again, I switched it. Um, so the, the rest of the week's schedule should be normal, but that depends on if I get anything recorded, because right now I have a video for tomorrow for Final Fantasy X, and that's it. And um, the intermediate days of Passover, like the first two days out of the, the eight days of Passover, the first two days are a holiday where I don't touch electronics, and the last two days also, and then there's four days in between in this year. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So the holiday starts up again Thursday night and goes until Saturday night. Um, so during those four days, uh, I can record and, and everything else, but uh, usually we usually do stuff with the family or I have friends over or whatever, so probably not going to be... We'll see if I have time is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try to have time because at least I'll... Usually I like to record a bunch of videos in advance, but at the very least I'll just record the two Katamaris and two uh, Final Fantasy Tens that are going up this week. We'll see. Uh, also, no streams this week. I'm just I'm just not gonna call for streams this week because I want to spend time with family and friends, like I said. So um, I'm gonna have to find other people to watch. I know I know how hard that is. <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah, so last week we had, uh, we had some Katamaris, we had some, uh, Final Fantasy Tens. Last week we also had a, um, a vlog that went up on Friday, uh, marking the six-year point from which I started fighting my cancer, starting with a, uh, really fun spinal surgery. Uh, I know it's a long video. For those of you who watched it, I appreciate it. For those of you who are going to watch it, I appreciate it. But, um, it's a long video. And, like, after I put it up, and, like, in the couple of days in between, like, yeah, I think about it, because I, you know, I was saying, like, is this my tone right? Is this, like, did I talk about this properly, this properly? And then I realized, like, how much I leave out, even with writing down notes. Like, uh, at one point I talk about the, the fenretinide uh, treatment that I had to take, which is, like, a powder that was mixed into stuff I say it tastes like tang. It was more of, like, a, a mango-y thing. It was weird. It was weird. Um, but, like, I completely neglected to mention the side effects of that, which were my skin became, um, uh, like, I, I turned into a vampire, essentially. Like, I couldn't handle direct sunlight at all. Like, I just, my, my skin just burned. Um, whenever I walked, my, uh, my feet would blister instantly. Um, I actually lost one of my toenails because of that. I was walking around the city with Juker and uh, Lonely Days uh, shortly after starting that treatment that year. It was 2017, July-ish. July, August? I don't remember which month it is because I don't have a memory, which is why I write things down. But uh, I walked around the city with them and it blistered my foot up. Like, my entire foot became a blister and uh, I lost m one of my toenails because of that. And it took over a year to grow back. <laughs> Um, but the biggest, the biggest thing, so, like, I couldn't, like, move or go outside or anything, but the biggest thing was that it took away uh, a lot of my vision. Um, it's so, like, at night, I became 
practically blind. And when I say like blind, it's not like, I know it's kind of hard to, to describe it to somebody who like hasn't been blinded by anything, but imagine like wearing sunglasses, like really heavy sunglasses at night with like a sheet over it. That's what it was like. Well, like a gauze or something. It wasn't. It wasn't just like everything dimmed. It was like having a gauze over over that. And Corey Hart was singing somewhere off in the background. It was really annoying all day, all night. Um, so like during the day it was bad enough, but like at night I couldn't see, which means like like couldn't drive in the evening or anything, and I just kept having panic attacks like the whole time that I was on that treatment. I started taking like a uh, vitamin A thing to try to block it and it helped a little but eventually we just had to take me off of the thing because it, it was just it was too much it was it was getting too much for me I was getting severely depressed because like my brain wasn't getting light um, and it was also during I was taking this into the winter so there was like less and less daylight during the day so like most of the day was dark so like compounded with not being able to perceive light it was really bad it's like you just think about it, I'm like, wow, I completely forgot about <laughs> that side effect. I just glossed over it. Um, and, like, a few other things. Like, I was talking about the radiation this past, like, at the beginning of the year, the end of last year. I, like, you didn't say the fact that they had to mark up my body with tattoos. I have, I have dots all over my chest now. Permanent dots. Because they had to tattoo my body to, to make the machine work right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So it's like, I don't... I don't like, outside of like the, I told you, like I write down like a general notation, but like I don't like to script my videos because um, that just feels insincere to me. But the, the downside to that is that I forget a lot. And it occurs to me, I'm like, oh my God, how could I have forgotten that? That was terrible. Um, the main thing is because the mind's coping mechanism is to try to make you forget trauma. Whether it works or not is, is usually seems to be random, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry for, like, bringing that video into here, but just something I was thinking about. Um, this past week was eventful. I'm just gonna go through my Twitter feed, because that's the best way I can remember things. I didn't want to, like, go through and write things down, because, uh, I'm really tired. This past week was really draining on me. I had to help get the house ready, because Passover, you have to clean everything. But, um, I've been having, like, a lot of nerve pain, which, yes, it's, it is worrying, but I'm thinking that it's mostly related to how I've been sitting and playing games and drawing a lot, you know, so I'm gonna have to try to change that up, but it's been really annoying and painful, and I really haven't moved much this past week because of it, so, um... I'm just kind of still recovering from that, so you'll excuse me if I stay unprofessional. Uh, let's see, first of all, Reggie retired. Reggie fils may retired as president of Nintendo, and, but he did get a Twitter account, which is cool. Um, Joker came out for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, like, out of nowhere, and uh, that was really cool. <laughs> um, they, they announced him with... Uh, um, with his, uh, like, the board uh, is, a, is mementos, a whole bunch of um, music from Personas 3, 4, and 5, and depending on what music pl is playing in the mementos board, it changes the look of the board to be, like, that Persona game. Like, Persona 3, it has, like, the clock. Persona 4 has, like, the flowery designs. It's so cool. It's so cool! And the music is just amazing. Um, the, um... His final smash is, you know, the all-out attack ending in the splash screen, and if you uh, do the final KO of a match with the all-out attack, it just go it just shows, like, it just shows the all-out attack screen and just says, GAME! And then brings up the results screen, with the background being the, the all-out attack screen still. So, like, man, Sakurai... <laughs> Sakurai really loves Joker, and I love it. I love it how much, like... Like, the, the regular victory is just, you know, him running, like, like in, um, a regular victory screen from Persona 5, and, um, 
depending on what what game's music is playing in the moment in the memento stage determines what victory music is playing it plays the persona 3 victory music if you get the persona 3 um you know memento stage i haven't tested four out because the game doesn't want to give me that but it's giving me persona 5 music and you know at the end it's boom 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 and beautiful little touch it's just beautiful little touch there um let's see in the meantime in the meantime let's see as i'm just going through this there was um proton john did a stream in monday or something and they brought up the him being a Yu-Gi-Oh character or something and i decided that you know they're saying like which character is he gonna be is he tristan or joey or something and i decided he would be duke devlin though i had to see if it just immediately closed it decided he should be duke devlin so there's him as duke and the thing i wrote with this was while people are undoubtedly drawing undoubtedly drawing you as everything from dark magician girl to my valentine i think duke devlin needs a little love of course nobody ended up drawing him as any of the female characters, so I brought upon myself to draw him as, as Dark Magician Girl. Because Dovey's never wrong. <laughs> Juke. Um, I'm also having a lot of fun screen capping um, Final Fantasy X. Um, like, as I'm going through the Let's Play, just getting really stupid, like, shots and posting them out in a thread on Twitter. So, so check that out. It's fun. I think it's funny anyway. It's it gives me something to do while I'm editing, aside from editing the video, I guess. Just have scenes from from them on the boat being attacked by the sin and like you know like reaching towards each other, and just catching near, far, wherever you are. It's just I don't. Know. I again I find these things funny for myself. Uh, let's see, let's see, Reggie retired, Doug Bowser became the president of the world, um, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I know, I know, I know, this is really boring, I started learning 3D modeling because I have access to a 3D printer now, so I'm using Autodesk Fusion, and there was another program that, that works with it, but, um, yeah, Autodesk is fun. It takes a little while to learn, but Autodesk Fusion 360 is seems to be a good program, and I got it for free, so that's that's a plus. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's some really stupid stuff. Oh, eventually, Jumney, uh, one of Proton John's main artist people at this point, uh, eventually also drew him as like Harpy Girl and. Uh, Injection Fairy Lily and, and Dark Magician Girl, so I was happy to see that. <laughs> With the thing, Doby was never wrong. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, they also included in the Smash Bros. thing a uh, bunch of costumes for Persona, like, 3 and 4. And, um, spirits from Persona 5, so that was really cool. And, uh, they did a stage builder! That's, like, the biggest thing of the update. They finally brought stage builder back, and it's really cool, and people have been making some really cursed stuff already. I'm really impressed. Uh, I did a... Uh, finished, I should say, a, uh... Um... I finished a, uh... No, it's not in here because he posted it. Uh, commission for uh, Mr. Movies of um, Deep Sea Tycho and Deep Sea Zack fighting a giant squid. Sharks attacking. Uh, it's up on his Twitter. Uh, I retweeted it. It came out really nicely in my opinion. Um, so yeah, thank you for the commission. Um, actually working on stuff that people have asked me to. So yay. Wow. Uh, let's see. Next... <laughs> Next up, I'm going to give you, without context, this picture of a human heart. I'm just going to put it over here so I can see it on the side of my screen. So yeah, I sketched a picture of a human heart in about 10 minutes. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get better because there's too much light. Also, I don't think she saw it yet. I don't know if, how often she goes on Twitter, but Miss Anel has been doing a uh, let's play of. Hey, you Pikachu. And at one point she was doing that like mission where you gotta 
you know, babysit the Caterpies and Peach, Pikachu twerks everywhere and you gotta feed them or else they die. So, um, at one point she thought that one of the, or at least editing Miss A thought that one of the, um, Caterpies are just straight up dead because you can see it on screen just one two three four and she just liked a little thing of like the fifth one as a ghost So I drew this uh, I sent it to her on Twitter like I said I don't think she's checked Twitter yet so I don't think she's seen it but um It's uh, I'm not gonna say what it's based on because that would be major spoilers But if you get it you get it and I commend you and don't say just tell me if you got it or not. <laughs> but, um... Just, that was the first thing that popped into my mind when I just, the, like, the one Caterpie dying was, was that scene. And I had a lot of fun drawing that. I don't think... I don't know if people got it, because no one said anything. But, again, if you say where it's from, that's pretty spoilery. So, like, you have to be vague anyway, which is why, again, I'm not even telling you what game or series it is. But it's from a thing that people should be familiar with. <laughs> um, let's see. And, uh, apparently the current world population is at, uh, on Friday or Thursday was at 7 billion, it was just 69, 69, 69, 420, and 696 million 969,420 people, so congrats world, you were at 69, 69, 69, 420 for a number of people. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing really much happened yesterday as far as I know. I drew another Patreon thing, that's what it was. Um, actually, I drew a couple of things, wow, okay, do we? I have a memory, what are you talking about? Um... The, uh... That's not gonna count that, that's rude. The... First thing that I did was, uh, just based on... It was a, a Patreon reward. Um, which I don't think I mentioned last week. I put it in the comments, but thank you, uh, Wonderful Ones, and Chilled Like Ice for the, uh, Patreon. Um... Uh, joining the patreon. I appreciate it very much. I just like I said, I don't script these things. So I just I forget um, But the, the picture here is is Moses um, Splitting the sea with like one of those monster slabs from um, I should probably just make the screen brighter one of those monster slabs from like the ancient Egypt arc of of Yu-Gi-Oh there's a there's more of a description in the link on Twitter, but uh, essentially it's based on the fact that Beyblade had a similar thing showing Moses splitting the sea during the Exodus with a Beyblade. So one of the, my patrons wanted me to draw a version of that, but with a different anime. <laughs> um, and finally. The last thing I drew was yesterday there was uh, a perfectly normal arcade pit um, in which one of the things was uh, voice acting of Final Fantasy IX and Proton John was on that and he had to voice uh, Kina, Quina. I have no idea how to pronounce her name but the weird eating blue mage chef thing. So he did a job. Uh, so I, I drew him, I drew him as, as Queena. Kina? Queena? Is it Kina or Queena? Come on. Focus on the curse, there we go. So that, they just came out horrifying and I love it though. <laughs> but yeah, so today, today's just gonna be a little bit of resting by Dovey, a little bit of working on, uh, probably a few more drawings. I might try to record Katamari, but... The weather's been really bad, and I'm in a lot of pain, so um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, for those of you who are celebrating Passover um, or Pesach, like myself, I hope you have a good rest of the holiday. For those of you who celebrated Easter yesterday, I hope you had a good holiday. And uh, for everybody else, 
um, I hope you have a good week. Thank you very much for watching. I know this was a really long update. Usually they're shorter. Um, I'm just a bit rambly these days. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for sticking through everything. Thank you very much for um, making sure that I don't die. <laughs> I was that's that's a running theme of you know just that I think about because of the cancer vlogs. Thank you very much for you guys making sure I don't die. It's I don't I don't always express my appreciation, but it, I feel it. I I feel the appreciation constantly. Um, so yeah, goodbye everybody. Bye bye.